Alright, so welcome back again. My name is Jesse and it is wonderful and exciting tutorial. We're trying to explore one of the features of DAXAP for annotation, right? Which works with Label Studio. So let's see what we're doing. So we're doing a very simple project. So I'll just go back to my DAXAP account and I'll click on create a new repository. And I'm trying to see how to work with the annotations project, right? The annotations feature of DAXAP. Okay, so let's create a simple project. I'm going to give it the name of the project as Medical NLP. So medical NLP, right? Project, mm, let's make it like this. And then now I'm going to save this particular one, make it publicly available. So this is medical and clinical NLP. Perfect, and let's specify a readme. So I'm going to give a simple readme default and create a repository so this is going to create a simple repository and from there we are going to see how to add some data and do some annotations okay so if you come back to dax app your repository you have this annotations feature here right but before we move on let's first of all upload the file so you can just use the command line but let's use the web interface so upload the file i'm going to upload a very simple data set which is a medical data set and then we'll try and see how to do some simple annotation for that data set Okay, so it's going to open here and I can now drag and drop the particular data set. So I have my data here, so I'll copy this data and then I'll drag it here. So we're going to upload the data there. Perfect, so I'm uploading the data here, right? Perfect, so after uploading the data, a very small sample data, I can just add something like say added medical data. Yep, and then I'll just commit changes. Perfect. So that is the first one. The first one is that you must have your data on your projects, on your repository. And then from there, you move on to the annotations option. So I click on the annotations, which is working together with Label Studio out of the box. So you don't need to set it up on your local system. Every DAXAP repository has the annotation, right? Feature already in it. Very cool. So we have the files, we have the experiment, and we also have the annotations out of the box. So our data set is here. So the first option for working with annotation that there is push so you push your raw data set that you want to work on there is annotate and then you commit to so pac right push annotate commit so now let's turn on the workspace so if i click on turn on the workspace it's going to provision our workspace so that we can do our project so it is setting up our workspace so whilst it takes some time you can check out a na nearest video one of the nicest Wake up all one of the nicest people on DAXAP, right? <laughs> the data scientist on DAXAP. So it's going to take some time. You can watch this video to see how it works. Okay. You can also go and have some chai or coffee. Perfect. So that's finished, right? So now you just click on the ready. That's finished provisioning our space. If I click on the ready. We can now work on it. Perfect. So this is the first thing. So it's going to give you this particular option so i do not have any project here so i'll click on this plus button and then i can now add a project right so if i click on the plus here right i can add a project you can add multiple projects if you want so it's going to give you the option of specifying your project name so let's give it as let's say medical nlp nr name and recognition then i'm going to commit the annotations to the master branch right which is the default branch by the way or the main branch now I'll click on create project so this is going to create a new annotations project for us so that I can start working on the annotation. Perfect. So you can also add more annotations, right? So you have different data sets. You can also keep on adding by clicking on the plus and you can add more things to it, right? Not just one. So after that, you can just click on click here to start. And then now it's going to lead you to a different browser, right? Reopen a different browser with or different tab with label studio already configured so you don't need to install label studio it's already configured to get out for you easily by an accent that is very nice okay so as you can see it's going to give you the tax app settings so there are two options we have the label interface and tax app settings so with the settings you are going to specify the particular data you want to annotate so i'll go back again to my repository i have two files and this is very very important in case you are working with a csv file or a tsd file and you want to have all the various uh, rules or the various data points in a different table right in a different list so that you can annotate them you have to click on split test lines right this is very important in our case we are using a tsd file which we got from here 
I made it TST to make it very easy for us because sometimes when you're working on the CSV, it can be an issue. But I made it TST, right, to make it easy. Then I'm going to specify that I want to split test files by lines, right? So I click on save, very important. It's going to generate annotation task for us, and then we are going to start working on it. So this is a very funny animal. I don't know whether it's, it's a lizard or <laughs> I don't know the kind of animal it is anyway, or an anteater. <laughs> Perfect. So this is a simple interview, simple interface of Label Studio. So this is already being hosted on DuxApp. You can see that we have the tax in which you can select the particular tax you are doing. We have the columns, so you can filter out the columns you don't want. So for example, we have a lot of columns here. We have annotations, cancel predictions, all of this. So in case I want to take some of these columns out, I can just take it out. I only want the the data, right? So I can just on comments the ones I don't need so I don't need the cancelled I don't need the predictions I don't need yeah, let's take the annotated by right perfect so that is it so that is reducing it as you wish right so you can filter the columns so you only have the one that you is important so you have the completed annotated by and the source file you can also specify some filters right based on how you want and you can also expose your data after you have finished Perfect. So we have the list view and we have the grid view. So you can also switch from this to the grid view to see it in this particular format in case you want to know how easy it is. So based on the grid view, we don't need this one. We don't need the readme. We only need from two and the rest, right? So this is another way you can also make your work easy. So let's go to the list view. I'll go back to the list view and now let's take out the readme because we don't need to annotate the readme. You can also keep the readme as you wish, right? It's not going to change anything. So to take off it, just click on it here then you set specify that okay for that particular task i want to delete the readme if i click on readme it's going to delete the readme for that particular annotation project not for the entire data set but for your current annotation project perfect so we have our data this is what we want to label that is the first thing perfect now let's see how to set up our labels so i'll go back to the settings click on the settings and now we have this option so this is going to give you a very nice interface we have the code configuration interface this particular place in which you can specify your own configurations for the different labels here right or you can just go and browse some of the already predefined templates so i'll go back to the predefined template and they have different templates for different aspects of data science so for computer vision we have different templates we have for natural language processing we have for audio speech and processing computational ai ranking and scoring and the rest in our case we will be going with natural language processing because we are doing medical or clinical nlp perfect then from there we have different options we have question and answering test classification NEL, which is what we'll be doing and we have the rest autonomic and relation extraction but in our case we will pick for named entity recognition perfect so when you come back here you can now specify you can also import from a particular file the different labels you want to use and by default it's going to give you these four different labels person organization location and miscellaneous but since you are doing medical nlp or clinical nlp we will not be using any of them we are going to take them off so to delete them just click on this delete you are deleting them or removing them from there let's keep the person in case there is a name there now let's see how to add our labels right so to add a label just come back here and then you must put a particular label on one line so let's add some labels so for clinical nlp for medical field we need to have any alpha for drugs for dosage for dosage right we also need for disease that's the 3d so we have gotten dosage drug and disease we also need one for same signs and symptoms because signs and symptoms are different from disease right so sign and symptom and then you can now move on to let's say a procedure right so you can just go with procedure and then the next one can be treatment right so the, you can add different ones but let's keep these ones and i'll just click on add so it's automatically going to generate these different labels for us right and you can also change the color for this particular label so in case i want to change for the drug i'll click on it and now we can change it so let's make drugs to green so it's going to change the label to green i can also change the one for dosage to let's say blue and then i want to change for disease disease in my mind is red so i have to give it as red 
perfect so you can add different colors to it right perfect and now i just click on save so these are the labels i'll be using for my annotation very nice so now i can use these particular labels i've created to annotate my data set so in case you have any question or contribution you can put it in the comment section below and then one more shout out i received some awesome gifts from tax app so thank you very much for that very, very nice present i appreciate that okay so let's see how to annotate our data set so i'll come back here and click on the first one and then we can now do some annotation right so this is a very nice data set and because it was in test file all the various rules are there as you can see from here you can see that we have all the different rules there right for all of them let me make it in a different way so different rules you can just be clicking on it to make your work easy perfect right now we are done with it so let's see how to do some annotation so to annotate we will first of all click on the label then you highlight you click on the label and you highlight so let's check some of the things we can do let me make it bigger so that you can see it well perfect so this is medical food so we don't need this one we'll be starting from the admission diagnosis so we're trying to see how to do some annotations for some of them apologies for the noise you're hearing behind they are doing some construction behind me <laughs> okay so let's check it out so first of all let's work on it so we have a history of alzheimer's dementia so this is a disease right so i can just click on it. so first you select disease right you the label then you highlight if i click on it it's automatically going to position the label there at the top so you can also change the position to down if you want then let's move on again so fracture of the right femoral neck so this is also can also be a diagnosis right so i can just go back again it's a diagnosis you can also call it as a disease right because it's a fracture but actually fracture is not a disease anyway so we can also add a different annotation to it let's go to something simple so this particular one is a procedure so hemoatroplasty of the hip is a procedure so i can just click on procedure then i will specify so this entire stuff here is a procedure so clinical nlp can be very interesting right because that's putting it there i can now move on and let's see we also have alzheimer's disease here create alzheimer so we can just put it as a disease so click on the label then you select right let's go down and see if we will see some other stuff there so i'll just go down here and see if we have something there so okay based on we can say we have aspirin so aspirin is a drug and then we can also put for that annotation so i click on drugs or drugs <laughs> and i'll just click on aspirin where is it so we're going to give the annotation there compression stockings is a treatment right it's a treatment can be used for treatment of a lot of things so click on treatment i'm trying to use my medical knowledge for medical school <laughs> for it okay so i click on this and now it's going to annotate it as treatment very nice so that is how to do that so after you have done everything you can now click on submit right so it's going to show here that you want to you, have, you must do an, a commit for that right perfect so let's do another one so this for one all the different labels are going to be shown here as you can see right and i can just go back again and then let's pick another one so i'll just pick and as you see the moment you annotate it it specifies what you have annotated here right with one so let's go to number three yeah this particular one or oh, number two so that we see that we can just pick random and now let's do some annotation this a true story for ong <laughs> okay so let's see how to do some an annotations for this mm. so you said that you have some drugs here so we can actually annotate them so these are drugs medication so i'll just go back again and click on drugs select the label come down here and then specify that okay this is a drug this is also a drug it's also mostly important for to do it one after the other so this is a drug so that doesn't combine them so label studio integrated with dax app right very very cool it makes your work easy as you know clinical nlp is not an easy field <laughs> okay and then there's another one i click on drugs again and then you can just move on to this right so you have seen how to do some simple annotation of it right perfect so in case i want to also add another feature i can also do the same thing very cool okay so these are all procedures these things are procedure so pap smear is a procedure 
it's not a treatment so i can just go back again click on procedure and then let's add it here so pap smear is a procedure perfect so after you have finished you said the moment i just do that it's going to add I'm going to specify what you have done right the, the things are here i can click on it to see it or to hide it very cool and then i can now just go back again and submit it so let's reduce it so i'll submit the changes and now i can commit so the moment i just submit it, it's going to show the particular place i did the one perfect very cool and now i can just click on this commit to commit the changes so this is how to do, do a computation or i say computation <laughs> commit then now let's change it from clinical to medical nlp so this is going to be medical nlp this is where you want to save it to it's also automatically going to create a label studio directory then this is where we are going to be saving it to so i'll come down here and there are different formats you can export it to there are different formats you can export it to so you can export it to json you can export it to minified json csv tsv kernel but let's export it to json right and then from there you just commit to save so you just commit so let's give it a message so added medical ndr label something like that and i'll just click on commit changes to save right so it's going to commit it and then it's going to be added to your annotations project perfect now i can just continue annotating right very nice you can also view the commit history in case you want by clicking on the commit to view the history right or you can just go back again to your project that you had here in the moment i come back here you can see that we have my project here i can click on it and i'll see the various things there very cool perfect and the nice thing about using tax app and a lot label studio that it's going to show you the time in which i made that particular commit right which is very interesting so in case you have different teams working on a simple data set you are going to see the different times it was completed as well as the people that annotated it so this annotated by so in case you have different teams you also see them there which is very cool and you can also use the filters to filter them as you want very cool later you can also export them by going to the spot and then you can export your data into a particular format just as we did previously so, so i can export it to json which is what i prefer and after you have exported them you can now use it for you can now just use it for maybe building a pre-trained model using spacey right because the format is going to be in the format of spacey so let's see what it does done for us okay so this is how it is right it's going to give us the details it's going to give us a test as you can see the, the particular test and then the details you can see that this is a test see the procedure the label and the start date so this is very useful in case you are working with spacey and you want to use the same thing to build a nlp model for spacey right very cool so that apps makes it very easy for you to do all of these things out of the box using the label studio so thank you for watching the tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can just put the comment section below and see the next session stay blessed and one one more thing about this is that you can also go back again to your project right I go back to your project the main project not your annotations project you're going to see the json file there so that you can actually use it later on in the future in case you want so you can see from here that we have the label studio directory that was created and we have the json file right which is this particular one very cool so thank you for watching see you another time so there are a lot of cool stuff you can do with it but this is what i'll do you can also work on for video for images and the rest see you another time Stay blessed. And thanks once again. I appreciate DAXAP team for, for, for the gifts. See you next time. Stay blessed.